Hi. Now in this part of the question then, we've got to estimate the mean and the standard deviation of the weekly income for these data. And we're given this summary statistic that sum of or sigma Fy squared equals 12,452,800. So if this is like something you'd like to try, just pause the video and uh, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Well, first of all, in order to get the mean, which we're going to call y bar, let's just put that down here, mean y bar, what we've got to do is do the sum of the midpoints times the frequency. So I'm going to call the midpoints now the new y value. All right, so that's y value times the frequency and divide this by the total frequency. And that would mean, say, drawing up another column here. Well I've actually done that earlier so you can see that if you check out 100 times 12 you're going to get 1200 and so on all the way down through here. Here are our results. Now you're going to need to add all these up and if you do you're going to have sigma yf and what that totals is 31,600. So if you work this out, let's just uh, put it down here. The mean y bar is going to equal sigma yf. So we've got 31,600 and we divide this by sigma f. In other words, if you were to add this column up, you'd find you get 100. And this is clearly going to be 316. Okay, so there's our mean now y bar. Next we've got to find the standard deviation and if you're trying to find the standard deviation let's just write it as standard dev like that okay then the standard deviation for a group frequency table is given by this formula okay it's the square root of the sum of y squared times f, the frequency, all divided by sigma f, the total frequency, minus the mean squared. So that's going to be y bar squared. You quite often see this formula though given with x's instead of y's. All right? so, uh, and you might actually see n written here for sigma f, the sum of all the frequencies. So in general though, your formula is going to look something like that. So when we're doing this particular part, the standard deviation, let's just write it in in full, the standard deviation then is going to equal the square root, let's just mark that in, square root of, and what have we got? Well, sigma y squared f, we were told, or f sigma f y squared, doesn't matter which way around, is going to give us 12 million... 452,800 and we divide this by the total frequency f which is 100 and then we subtract the mean y bar all squared which is 316 all squared. Work this out and what you end up with is 157 pounds 0.073 and so on. And if we round this, say, to the nearest pound, it's going to be 157 pounds. And we'll just put there to the nearest pound. OK, so hope you've been able to get that. And that brings us to the end of this part.